The middleware is a layer between user request and the root handler. If we add a middleware to Active Web Server, when users send a request, it will first go through its middleware. After go through its middleware, then it will go to the root handler. We can use the middleware to intercept or modify the user request before it reach the root handler. In main function, we start our Active Web Server. In this server, we add two routers with the hello handler and the word handler. Let's add a middleware to this Active Web Server. First, let's define a middleware function. It will be a sync function. So let's define a sync function. Let's give it a name my middleware. We will add two parameters to this middleware. First, let's give it a name rec. Type will be server's request import from XWeb name server's request. Second parameter, let's give it a name next. Type will be next. Import from Active Web middleware next. Its next type will be IMPL message body. Import from Active Web body message body. Returning type, we will give it a type result. First type in this result will be server's response import from Active Web dev server's response. In this server's response type will be IMPL message body. Second type in this result will be arrow. We import this arrow type from Active Web arrow. In this middleware function, let's first print line hello from middleware. Then we will call next the call method. We will pass this server's request parameter rec into this call method as argument. This call method is a sync method, so we need to call await to handle the future. When we call this, this middleware will continue and it will go to the root handler. Let's add this middleware to our server. So after this app new function, we will call wrap method. In this method, we will call from iPhone function. We import from iPhone function from Active Web middleware from iPhone. In this from iPhone function, we will pass this middleware's name as argument. So will be my middleware. Let's remove this pair of parentheses. Let's start our server in terminal. Let's run cargo run. Let's go to the web browser. First, uh, let's visit a local host uh, 3000. Slash hello. So we can see we will get a response hello. And let's go to the Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, in terminal, we can see it will print out a hello from middleware. So when we visit this hello router, it first will go to this middleware and print out this hello from middleware. Then after this middleware, it will go to the root handler, to this hello handler. So it will send a response hello. Let's visit a URL pass localhost 3000 slash word. Press enter. We get a response word. Let's go to the Visual Studio Code. So you can see in terminal, it will print out a hello from middleware again. Because we add this middleware, it's a global middleware. So it will apply all the routers in this server. So when we visit any router in this server, it will first go to this middleware and print out a hello from middleware. Then after this middleware, it will go to the router's handler. If we want this middleware to block the user request and not go to the root handler, we can remove this line, not call this call method on its next. Then we just return OK. 
and、uh, we will pass the right、uh, we will call into response on this parameter right. In this into response method,、uh, we will pass a、uh, HTTP response as argument. Let's give it a status code and also write it. Then let's add a body. Let's pass a content and also write the. Let's restart our server. Let's start our server again. Let's go to the web browser. Let's visit this. Let's refresh our page. So you can see, we will get a response and also write the. When we visit、uh, this world route, uh, this middleware handler will block the user request uh, and uh, send a response from this middleware because this middleware block the user's request.、Uh, so the user request、uh, will never reach the root's handler. Before we add、uh, this middleware to this server, it's a global middleware. So when we visit、uh, any routes, it will first、uh, go to this middleware. This time. Let's only add this middleware to specific root. First, let's remove this. Let's remove this comment. So, this middleware will not block user request. And in this HTTP server, let's only add this middleware to its word handler. So, let's remove this wrap method. In this service, we will call web scope to add a scope. Let's give it a pass word. Then let's add a root to its scope. Let's give it a empty string as pass. Then let's specify the request method for this root. So web, let's give it a method get. Then let's use two method to add a handler to its root. We will pass this word handler to its root. Also, let's go to this word handler because we already specified the request method and the root path. So let's remove this attribute. Then, in its servers, after its root method, let's call wrap method. Then we will call from iPhone function. Then we will pass this middleware's name. My middleware as argument. Let's remove this pair of parentheses. Let's restart our server. Let's start our server. Let's go to the web browser. Let's visit this world router, localhost three thousand world. Let's refresh the page, so we can see we got a response world, and also in terminal it will print out a hello from middleware. Then let's visit a localhost three thousand slash hello. We get a response hello. This time, in its terminal, it will not print out the hello from middleware, because this time we only add this middleware to its scope. So only when we visit this world router, it will go through its middleware, and when we visit this hello router, it will not go to this middleware. This is about middleware in Active Web. Hope to see you next time.